I I wonder why someone. My first question, I think, and many many people, this question would resonate with many people, the Pakistanis in Pakistan, uh, and Pakistani diaspora across the world, uh, in North America, in Europe, in UK, in in, in, in Middle East. That why someone like a principled Pakistan Muslim leader like uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who takes strident, assertive position on issues across the Muslim world in the interface of West and the Muslim world, has not taken any assertive position on what is happening in Pakistan to Imran Khan. Why we have not heard anything from him? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I get this question quite often, you know, from my followers as well. So, I mean, one thing that I can I can say, if you remember, you know, when Mohammed Morsi was ousted from the power in in Egypt, so that time Erdogan showed a very strong reaction, and that reaction also led to the you know severing the connection between uh, Egypt and and Turkey. And later on, of course, Turkey also started having some, some problems because normally, you know, the people in Egypt and the people living in Turkey are really kind of good friends and they love each other much. There is also, you know, a lot of connections like trade or some other things. And then, you know, after that, Sisi came, came to the power and for many years, like Erdogan would, would reject to talk to him, you know, even when they came together, you know, in some summits, so Erdogan would would prefer, like, not not to talk to him. But then we saw that, you know, Egypt uh, was unfortunately kind of being used by some other countries against Turkey, like Greece or Israel. They started coming closer to to Egypt, and in Turkey, of course, President Erdogan, you know, got a lot of criticisms because, like, you know, like in in Turkey. We've got also sometimes a kind of polarization. So we've got a very strong, you know, uh, secular, uh, you know, community, so, you know, in Turkey. And we've got also conservative people. So there's some, there, there are already some concerns, you know, about President Erdogan. And actually, in the past, when he was a mayor, he was put in jail because he recited a poem. And, you know, we got kind of some, uh, military coups and some of them were direct and some of them were indirect. So in 1997, we had a military coup which was called kind of postmodern military coup, coup. So it was not a direct military coup, but that time Erdogan was the mayor, and he couldn't complete even you know his rule in the municipality, and then he was put put in jail. So in Turkey, there are already lots of problems. And of course, when, when it comes to Pakistan, Pakistan is a kind of major ally for Turkey. So, I mean, Turkey never wants to lose Pakistan, like, you know, Egypt or some, some, some other countries. So that's why, uh, although I'm, I'm sure that Erdogan is not very happy about what's going on, and I believe that behind the curtains, you know, Maybe you know he's he's giving some advices you know to to uh, to some authorities in Pakistan about acting you know with with wisdom and in the past I remember Erdogan you know criticized the kind of the decisions of the courts uh, in in Pakistan as well so so that's why like you know Pakistan is is really an important country for Turkey. And at this point, although the people, you know, are not are not very happy about what what happened in in Pakistan. If you I can hear me, you know, my question is: Can you hear me? Yeah. My question is this: That what is the public feeling and the view in Turkey, in Istanbul, uh, which is, if not the largest, perhaps one of the largest um, city in the Muslim world, one of the largest city in the world? What is the feeling on the street about Pakistan? What is the awareness, the knowledge about Imran Khan, Pakistan, in Turkey? I think in Turkey, if you talk to people, still, I think the majority is going to think that Imran Khan is still in power in Pakistan. So, I mean, still, that they're like many people, because when it comes to Pakistan in Turkey, in the past, we heard about Benazir Bhutto. So she made some impacts on Turkish people because 
she was the first kind of woman prime minister, you know, female prime minister coming out of a Muslim country. So that's why that, you know, created a very big, you know, curiosity in Turkey about Pakistan. But other than that, like Imran Khan, it was kind of, his name really made a very big impact, you know, in Turkey. So in Turkey, if you ask the people to ask some, some politicians, you know, from Pakistan, I believe the first, you know, person coming to mind is going to be Imran Khan. And interestingly, I'm sure that in Turkey still many people are unaware of what happened in Pakistan, although some people know, but like for ordinary people, you know, even you could meet like many people thinking Imran Khan is still holding his position, you know, in the office. So it is really interesting. So let me ask the last question before we play your music, uh, your latest song on Pakistan. So the, given Erdogan's uh, position and status in the world and given his proximity, and you said that he doesn't want to uh, spoil the interstate relationship between Pakistan and Turkey, couldn't Erdogan play a little bit scene behind, behind the scenes? Can he play a mediative role uh, to find a solution for the political mess in Pakistan? Yeah, I think in the future, of course, we're going to see whether this kind of developments are happening or not, or maybe in the past, you know, there, there were already, I believe, some, you know, some efforts. But I mean, so far, uh, these efforts, you know, did, did not uh, achieve the result. But on the other hand, so we should also think that like in Turkey, unfortunately, we don't have a kind of strong PTI lobby. So in Turkey, I mean, PTI is almost kind of a non-entity. So uh, because PTI, you know, like Imran Khan stayed in the office only for three and a half years. And even that time, unfortunately, it was a bad time for the virus. So there was pandemic and Imran Khan really, you know, has some kind of wise, smart lockdowns. And, you know, Pakistan was doing much better than some other countries. But uh, as a party, as an institution, so PTI is something new, and I, I, I don't think that like PTI is very active, you know, in Turkey. So in this kind of situations, I believe that you know the parties should also put some pressure on you know some deputies or on on the government. So I think there is something missing, you know, on that side as well. Of course. Uh, now Turkey is also involved in some some other problems. I mean, we've got you know some terror problems in the border, and on the other hand, you know what happened in Gaza. So in Palestine now, the people are focused on on Palestine, and actually one of the reasons maybe Imran Khan was ousted from the from the office, you know, I mean, uh, Brother Sami already mentioned about that. Imran Khan had been already. Uh, has been always a very strong advocate, you know, of Palestine and and Kashmir. And I know that in the Muslim countries, unfortunately, strong leaderships are not desired because strong leaders, you know, charismatic leaders represent the charisma of the people. And when you think about Pakistani people, Pakistani people are really smart. And in the history, they have had a lot of achievements and they made a, a very big contribution, you know, to Islamic civilization. And, you know, Imran Khan always reminded the people that, you know, when he referred to Mevlana, when Allah has given you two wings to fly, why do you crawl on, on the ground? So he always wanted to remind the people of the dignity and the great history that we have had, you know, uh, and young people, they, they started feeling more confident seeing President Erdogan and Imran Khan, and they started taking these leaders as a model. Like, you know, you can also become successful, you can create, you can produce, and you can make your own contribution to the market of humanity. So that's why these kind of leaders, unfortunately, are not desired in the West. And, you know, they have some, some different ways, you know, to, to remove these people from our, our countries. So, Erdogan had also a lot of, you know, barriers in the past, and now Imran Khan is is having a, a, a big test. But I can tell you, like millions of hearts, not only in Pakistan but all over the world, are together with Imran Khan, and 
the impact of Imran Khan is not confined to only Pakistan. So he also made, you know, some some effects on the on the other countries as well. Just a few months a few months ago, even when Imran Khan, you know, was ousted from the office, like one of the intellectuals of Turkey, you know, he visited Pakistan and he came together, you know, with with Imran Khan and they had some discussions about some different topics. And then after he came back to Turkey and, you know, he, he said Imran Khan is not only a kind of political leader, but he is also a great intellectual and he has got some, you know, really unique ideas about, you know, Muslim civilization or family or the challenges that we are having, you know, in the modern world. So I think we should also be aware of that aspect of Imran Khan as well. He's not only an ordinary leader, but he's also somebody reflecting upon the challenges upon the know, challenges are, across are in Turkey, uh, Turkey, I also have to play. Thank you so much for giving us the view from Istanbul, from Turkey. Uh, before we understand you, where we stand on this issue. Uh, and uh, I will also have to play your music. So thank you so much. Uh, uh, with this, I will request the studio uh, to play the latest song. Um, uh, Targi Avron is a songwriter, is a musician. Uh, <laughs> You are a brave son of Islam Oh, Pakistan You are the hope of a presence Oh, Pakistan How can your will be hijacked? Oh, Pakistan How can your soul be kidnapped? Are occupied by tears. How long will last this atmosphere? You are Pakistan, never fear. This too will pass, Pakistan. Your children will grow up. This too will pass, Pakistan. Your dreams will stand up. Children will grow up This too will pass Pakistan Your dreams will stand up Oh Pakistan Love. Oh, Pakistan, you are the hope of a president. Oh, Pakistan, how can your will be hijacked? Oh, Pakistan, how can your soul be kidnapped? Your journalists disappear. Are occupied by tears. How long will last this atmosphere? You are Pakistan, never fear. This too will pass, Pakistan. Your children will grow up. This too will pass, Pakistan. Your dreams will stand up. Amazing, amazing, Thakir Avran, for this wonderful, heart-touching song which we have written on Pakistan and developed. How could Pakistan, the pride of Islam, the Muslim world, how could your soul be hijacked? 
how could your soul be hijacked this is so beautiful okay thank you so much thank you so much for joining us from istanbul and giving us the view and for this beautiful heart touching song with this